to tonight welcome to the season finale believe it or not season finale of tonight with bruce martin you can't get better than this telemechus right here tonight great music video by him also a great music montage tribute to all the artists that were on this show this whole season and believe it or not a great performance by me yes you heard that right a little karaoke by by me um it's gonna be pretty good look forward to it right um that's gonna be coming up tonight so pretty much this show is going to be packed with music. Um, like I said, Telemachus right here tonight. He's going to take you back to the 80s. There's no doubt about it. A great music video by this guy. But let me tell you something. I got some big news coming up. I'm going to be taking a little break, of course, from the show after tonight. And, um, you know, probably about a month. We'll see. I'm going to bring back season three. Don't worry. I'm coming back, Jack, with the music performances, with the movie reviews, you name it. Um, and you, you, let me tell you something, you guys want me to, you guys know anybody that's interested in being on the show, send me their links, send me their, uh, their pages, you name it. You guys want me to review a movie, I'll look at it, and I'll be like, mm, yeah, or no. Um, just send me, send me information, whatever you want to do. I'm all for it. You guys watching this channel, watching this show, please subscribe, follow, share, do whatever you gotta do. I appreciate it. I also got a project coming out. It's going to be a little short film coming out in the near future, believe it or not, coming soon. I posted a little uh, teaser on my, my Instagram and Facebook, so look forward to that. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm writing, directing, and I'm pretty much producing everything. I'm putting it all together, and I'm starring in it. Yes, my first starring role in a movie. It's going to be a short film, but it's going to be pretty cool. Look forward to that. Okay, look at the details and updates on my social media accounts. Um, but yeah, let's start off the show with some sad news, believe it or not. Very sad news to report, and that is one of the all-time great rappers, DMX, believe it or not, a.k.a. Earl Simmons, passed away at the age of 50 after an accidental overdose, which led to a heart attack. The guy is one of the all-time greats, there's no argument there. Um, yes, he had his um, issues in, with the addiction in the past, you name it, with the law, issues with the law. But the fact of the matter is his music has helped people get through so much bad times in their lives. His music helped so many people, and there's no doubt about it that he will be truly missed. Because he was a giant in the music industry, you know, you name it. Um, I have a, a little story real quick about me and my brother back in the day. He used to call himself Brian X. It was like his nickname, you know, for his little friends and stuff like that. I, I always called him that too. He's probably not going to like this, but hey, he's my brother. This is my show. I'm going to talk about it. And um, every time I heard X going to give it to you on the radio or whatever it was, my little iPod, um, I thought about my brother because his last, the last name was X. So I, you know, every time I heard that song, the whole song just resonated to my brother and I was like, you know, X gonna give it to you, it's gonna give it to you, X gonna give it to you. Yeah, I know, it's horrible. Um, but it's just a great memory from when I was younger, my teenager years, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. And the connection I have with the song and my brother, I just wanted to pretty much say that because there is a connection. I feel it, and I'm always gonna have that connection with that song, with DMX, with my brother. It's just, um, it's a, it's a damn shame that he passed away. Age 50, age 50, so young. 
Um, but yeah, my condolences to the family, and believe it or not, rest in peace. The guy was a legend, no doubt about it. We're going to move on, we're going to talk a little bit about some movies and TV show news right now. Believe it or not, the new Spider-Man that's coming out, No Way Home, around Christmas time. Believe it or not, Tom Holland, even Tobey Maguire is going to be in it. I don't care what the people say, he's going to be in it, okay? Spoiler, my ass. He's going to be in it. And um, believe it or not, right now, the new rumor is that Tobey Maguire could be possibly getting his own movie. A Spider-Man movie. Possibly like a part four from where they left off in 2007 with part three. Hear me out. That's pretty cool. A lot of people are looking forward to Tobey Maguire being in the new Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland. Now, if he gets his own film with um, the creator, Sam Raimi, let me tell you something. Anything's possible. It's going to be pretty badass. Everybody wants to see Tobey Maguire back. Just like everybody wants to see Michael Keaton back as Batman. With all due respect to the new crew, you know, Tom Holland, um, who's playing Batman? Andrew, Andrew uh, Garfield, or what is his name? Uh, Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. That's the guy I'm talking about. Yeah, nah, he's crap. Um, what is he, from the Twilight movies? Come on. Come on. Nobody wants to see that guy. No, no. And plus, he's having panic attacks on the set. He doesn't want to um, come to rehearsals and this and that. He doesn't want to put on the suit. He's not in the best physical um, physique for this role. I'm talking about Patterson. Anyways, back to the movie I was telling you about. If Tobey Maguire does decide to come back and be his own Spider-Man again, that's pretty cool. That's money right there. Moving on. Um, you know, I'm like yamming, uh, ramming along. Anyways, um, in other news, believe it or not, there's a new movie coming out with Julia Roberts and George Clooney reuniting for Ticket to Paradise. It's going to be a new feature film. And I, I'm telling you right now, we need people like George Clooney and Julia Roberts back on the cinema. You know, because they've been missing for a while, you know. And right now, there's not a lot of good actors out there. Not a lot of people doing what they got to do to bring uh, presence to the screen like Julia Roberts and uh, George Clooney can do. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Ticket to Paradise, no word on the release date for that, but that's pretty cool. Gladiator 2, Gladiator 2, you heard it right here, people. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be Chris Hemsworth playing the son of, what is it, Maximus, or I don't know, whatever the guy's name in the movie is, Russell Crowe's character. So Russell Crowe's going to produce the film, but Chris Hemsworth is going to play the son. You know, also Chris Hemsworth is working on a Hulk Hogan biopic, biopic, I probably said that wrong. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Chris Hemsworth is pretty busy. But Gladiator 2 confirmed. You heard it here for first, folks. Um, also, believe it or not, The Walking Dead ending after season 11. Yes. I mean, I started. I stopped watching after season 6 or 7. Once Rick left, Rick Grimes, I was done. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the show's pretty good. But I heard it's lagging. It doesn't have that good of a storyline anymore. So... Season 11 is going to wrap it up for The Walking Dead. Um, but then you, you still got Fear of the Walking Dead, which is pretty cool. And that's um, one of the, my good friends on uh, Instagram and Facebook, Mo Collins, who's um, married to another good friend of mine, Alex Scooby, who plays Mr. Prozan on King of Queens. And you guys know who he is? He's the real deal. He's funny as hell. Um, I hope to have him and his wife on the show next season we'll see what happens but yeah I mean, like i said fear of the walking dead that still goes on and she's the star of that one so that's pretty cool um but yeah walking dead ending after season 11. big news for american pie fans part five yes american pie five in the works right now uh, most of the cast rumored to come back we'll see what happens i don't know what kind of shenanigans these guys are going to get into this time but it's interesting stuff if you ask me uh, I'm a big fan of the original American uh, American Pie back in uh, 1999. I think that was the year it got released. Also in big news, um, Stallone will not be returning to Creed. He will not be returning to the Creed franchise. But Michael B. Jordan, who's taken over the helm of the direction, director's chair, he's going to be the director for the movie uh, Creed 3, and believe it or not, he's also going to star in it. Now, even though Stallone's not returning to the movie, I have a good idea. Why don't they bring back Carl Weathers? Why don't they bring back Apollo Creed 
as a ghost or a spirit, you name it. I think that'll be pretty cool. That'll be money at the box office. I'm telling you right now, that'll bring up the numbers at the box office. You bring back Apollo Creed as a guidance to Michael B. Jordan, his son in the movie, who plays Adonis Creed. Come on now. Come on. Now. You heard it here, fool. But look, you heard it here first. Guys. <laughs> See, I, I, can't, I can't pass on folks. I'm not a folks guy. I'm a guy. guy. I'm a hey guys, you know, like, I can't say folks. That's why I mess it up all the time. Moving on, I'm probably going to cut that scene out anyway. Uh, but yeah, moving on, on the big news, Nash Bridges, Don Johnson, and Cheech Marine returning to Nash Bridges. They're bringing the show back, yes. Believe it or not, the late 90s hits um, show, Nash Bridges returning with the two main uh, cast members returning as well. And I'm a big Don Johnson fan from back in the Miami Vice days. I still haven't seen the finale of Miami Vice. I'm ashamed of myself, I know. For those Miami Vice fans out there, do not spoil it in the comment section. I know where your Facebook and Instagram are. I'll tell you right now. Um, but yeah, Nash Bridges returning, so that's pretty cool. Also, in other news, The Rock is rumored to be in a new Terminator movie. Um, that, by the way, he's going to play a bad guy, a villain. He is built like a Terminator. And, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger is rumored to come back for that one. Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be playing Terminator until the end of time. I'm telling you right now. Even when he does the Conan the Barbarian, it's going to the end of time. He's going to be the 100 years old and still playing the same character. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. A lot of people uh, thought it was a good uh, idea for The Rock to do it, so we'll see what happens. I'm not a big fan of The Rock as an actor, but this one, he's going to be pretty much quiet. He's going to be a machine. Machines don't talk that much. <laughs> Arnold was like, I'll be back. <laughs> well, you get over here now. Never mind. I did that last week. <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis is in a new movie. It's going to be about a heist, a bank heist or something like that. Basically, he's going to be in two scenes of the movie. <laughs> Let me explain. Lately, in the past few years, Bruce Willis has been doing these direct two... You see how I'm moving my hands around here like this? Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. I haven't drank any coke, no coffee, nothing like that. I don't know why I'm hyper, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, Bruce Willis pretty much in the last few years has been in movies where he only appears in like two or three scenes, 25 minutes of the film, and yet... His picture's on the front cover of the poster. But it is what it is. You know, they got the new Die Hard movie in the works, too. I really hope that one does good because Bruce Willis, he's he deserves a lot better than what he's getting. I mean, that's like Nicolas Cage, man. He's all over the place in movies I've never heard of before. You know, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, in other news, did you guys see that giant lizard that crawled into that grocery store and crawled up the shelves? Look at the video. There's no audio there, people, because um, copyright, infringement, restrictions, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, look at that sucker, huh? Climbing up that shelf and stuff. It's, it's insane. I would have screamed like a girl, man. I would have been out of there like Chris Tucker in Rush Hour. No doubt about it. Um, also, in other news, did you guys hear about that lady, that Miami stripper? Yes, I just said stripper. Believe it or not, the Miami stripper... Here's a picture of her. She looks like um, Amy Poehler. What's crazy is that she, um, in self-defense to the cops chasing her, she squirted vaginal fluids at the officers. <laughs> Let me repeat for those of you who do not understand what I said. She squirted vaginal fluids at the cops. <laughs> I'll down the video. Maybe there is a video. I don't want to see it. But I guess, you know, the cop was chasing her and she was attacking, like, I don't know. She was, the one leg was up here, I don't, I don't know. Somehow, the, it was attacking the cops. I think I'm going to have to cut that out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's uh, what's going on in the news, ladies and gentlemen. I know, pretty crazy stuff. But, believe it or not, we do have a great show ahead. A great performance by me. Yes, karaoke. Only one song, but it's pretty good. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Just leave your feedback. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. Um, also, we got Telemachus right here tonight. Great music video, which is coming up next. Look forward to that. 
Um, these guys are taking us back to the 80s. I'm telling you guys, you're going to enjoy it. Such great music by um, Telemachus. And um, we got a great montage tribute later tonight with all the artists that were on the show. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the monologue. Not that much to talk about. By the way, yes, there is one more thing. Elon Musk. Did I get it right? Musk? Yeah. Um, believe it or not, he's thinking about creating a real-life Jurassic Park. In about 15 years from now, he's going to do something with experimental species. I don't know. It's a bunch of stuff involved. But he says that it's a possibility. It's possible for a real-life Jurassic Park to actually exist on this Earth. Through, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a bunch of stuff online about it. It's pretty interesting stuff. Just Google it. Elon Musk Jurassic Park. Um, right in time, I'm telling you right now, we're about to get over this uh, COVID thing, and all of a sudden, the dinosaurs are coming. Great. <laughs> One thing that's going to wipe us out are the dinosaurs, because there's no way I'm running from a T-Rex. For God's sake, the guy can barely touch his own, you know. I feel bad for him. <laughs> I'm just going to give up and be like this. Just kill me now. <laughs> Anyways. I know, not funny. Um, coming up next, Telemachus, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy that music video. It's going to be pretty badass. And also, still to come, me, karaoke. Um, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Jack. gentlemen hope you guys are enjoying the show enjoying your night um real quick i mean holy cow that was a long monologue right oh, holy moly um but yeah telemachus ladies and gentlemen he is the real deal check him out city nights great music video right now
telling you, that was the real deal right there. The guy definitely took us back. That was music. That was the original. That was like so cool to see the the way that he he created this um, music video and pretty much put it together and stuff like that. It was just really badass. Definitely took me back to the '80s. And um, I'm all about the old school, you know what I mean? I'm all about the old school. So once again, thank you to Telemachus, the real deal. This, all his links are going to be down below along with everyone else's. But yes, if you guys want to know any more information, all his music, all his social media accounts are below. I'm telling you, you guys are going to enjoy his work if you go check it out. Um, but yeah, thank you again for being a part of the show. Coming up next, I, I, I can't follow this guy. I can't follow that music, that music video. That was so good. But unfortunately, I'm coming up next. I know. I know. It's just a little karaoke session, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy it. It should be good. It shouldn't be that bad. All right. We'll be back. Valentine told me who's to go Feelings his treasure most of all The teachers and the football stars It's in his tiny face It's in his scrawny hands Valentine's old his soul, he's got something to say, it's Valentine's Day, the rhythm of the crowd, Benny and Judy down, Valentine sees it all, he's got something to say, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine told me how he feels If all the world were under his heels Or stumbling through the mall It's in his tiny face It's in his scrawny hands Valentine knows it all, he's got something to say, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine, Valentine. Come on, let's go. Valentine, Valentine. It's in his scrawny hands, it's in his icy heart, it's happening today, Valentine, Valentine. It's in his scrawny hands, it's in his icy heart, it's happening today, Valentine, Valentine. It's in his scrawny hands, it's in his icy heart. It's happening today, Valentine, Valentine. It's in his scrawny hands, it's in his icy heart. It's happening today, Valentine, Valentine.
Bruce, you're very talented. Hey, you're very talented. <laughs> now, I try to do a little thing, you know, you got to escape a little fear. You know, I had a little fear of singing, so I wanted to do something, and I wanted to do it on my show. Of course, a huge shout-out to David Bowie, because without David Bowie, I wouldn't be able to do what I did there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm thinking about doing more for future episodes of Tonight with Bruce Martin, most likely in Season 3. So, you know, if you guys like it, cool. If you don't, it is what it is. It's still cool. Um, but right now, coming up next, actually right now, I'm going to show you guys a great montage I put together of all the artists that were on the show. So please stick around and enjoy this montage. It's a little long, but enjoy it. It's a lot of good music. Check it out. Make you evaporate, lose half your face if I gotta ask for space Have some courtesy or get hung vertically Act like you heard of me, I'm removing your eyes surgically Third degree, black belt lyrics is my penmanship Melt witnesses, lost innocence, the hood exposed me The OGs all had matrimony, married to the block It was they one and If you hungry, get your weight up, ain't no time for the layup Stack your paper, keep it player they gon' aim for the top, ain't no time to watch the clock Hold it down for the block, for the block Lifestyle player, game close caption, you chasing the hoes You moving backwards, see what you see but you ain't active We moving bricks, changing When the mind is free, it lets you
this magic dance. Jump, magic, jump. Jump, magic, jump. Slap that baby, make him free. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. This show will be flat. Okay, no, you know, to be honest with you, you guys are the reason behind this. I'm, there's no doubt about it. So I want to give a huge thank you to everyone included, everyone in that video montage tribute. Also, if you guys want to know information, any information about any of the artists in the video, their links are below. Yes, all their links are below. All their social media accounts. Go check them out. Give them a follow. Give them a subscribe. These guys are the real deal. You want music? You want good music? These guys, are, they're the ones. So go check them out. Once again, thank you for everybody for a great season two. And like I said, I'm going to take a little break, but I'll be back for season three. Trust me, I'll be back. Um, sometime in May. Sometime in May. I need a little break, you know. 
But it, it's a lot of work on these shows. You know, you gotta you plan it. You gotta get the artists together. You gotta get the the movie review under wraps, and then also the monologue, following on the news. I'm not complaining. It's a great experience for me. I like doing this. Why I do it? Because it's for myself. I I'm not gonna wait for somebody to call me. I'm gonna do my own thing. I enjoy it. It's fun. It is a lot of work, but it's fun work. Um, but yes, um, like I said, also stay for, stay tuned for my social media because I have um, news coming out about the movie I'm working on. Okay, so I'm currently um, in pre-production, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty much finalizing everything now. So um, just look at my social media and you guys are going to get the updates there. But once again, thank you to all the artists that were on the show. Thanks to my girl Liliana who helps me every week with the show. And um, I'm telling you right now, you guys are awesome, all of you guys. So be careful out there, take care of each other, social distance, wear a mask, do what you got to do, sanitize, protect each other. And uh, believe it or not, I'll see you guys next time on Season 3 of Tonight with Bruce Martin. Until then, hasta la vista, baby.